Hi everyone, welcome to Pikes Peak Makerspace, located in the heart of Colorado Springs, just on the east edge of downtown. We're at 735 East Pikes Peak. You've driven by a hundred times. Let's take a look inside, see what it's all about. So my name is Drew Johnson, I'm the executive director. My job as executive director is to remove barriers for people that wanna build cool stuff, whether that's a, a connection or an introduction uh, or uh, you know, access to a certain type of tool. I will do everything I can to make it happen for you. Uh, it's a membership organization, so membership, the basic level is $55 a month and that gets you 24 hour access to everything I'm about to show you. Uh, and we have a lot of different equipment and capabilities, so let's go ahead and walk on through. So this is the common area, kind of a design studio. We have a lot of different equipment here, this large rotary cutter, uh, this 24 inch vinyl cutter. Uh, we have hot desk here. So if you wanna pop open your laptop or work on a Raspberry Pi, this is kind of all set up for you there. Uh, we have a row of printers here, including this 42 inch wide uh, photo printer that'll print on canvas. It'll do matte photo paper. And the way it works is your $55 a month membership gets you into the space and then you kind of buy into the equipment by taking a certification course. So for example, the large format printer is a $20 course and then your membership covers using that as frequently as you want as long as you reimburse for the consumables. So we have this canvas on hand. Uh, we have uh, a couple different types of photo paper on hand and as long as that's getting reimbursed, you know, it's covered with use of your membership. So we have three computers here with different uh, design software packages on them, uh, as well as our uh, 3D printing area over here. A lot of people use Fusion 360 to design. Uh, so we have those on those computers, but we have uh, five FDM printers, two Prusas, two modified TAS printers, and a little PLA printer there. We also have a uh, Photon SLA printer this one hasn't been working, it's not behaving, but you can do really fine detail stuff on this printer. Uh, I don't know if you can see the double helix on the inside there, but pretty incredible potential for detail and uh, making really neat little sculptures, uh, including things like a Lego man or a lion with a really fuzzy mane. Uh, so this is, this is the 3D printing area, and we offer two different 3D printing classes. There's the FDM, which is the style where it melts the plastic and extrudes it out layer by layer. This was an FDM print. And then uh, the SLA printer class is uh, available as well. And this is kind of the 3D printing hub over here. Uh, over this way, we have our electronics lab. We have thousands and thousands of components here for your project. You know, the, the first rule of the makerspace is don't make us make a rule. So don't use all thousands of them in your project because then nobody else would have access to them. But uh, the, all of this equipment is here for members to use. So we have some diagnostic gear, there's oscilloscopes, there's stereoscopes, USB microscopes, a nice little solder station ready to go. Uh, we have a little pick and place machine that's not behaving at the moment, but uh, there's, there's members interested in getting it going. Everything good that happens here is, is volunteer driven. So when it comes to uh, machines and upgrades and maintenance, uh, it is all volunteer driven. So I mentioned the pick and place machine. It's not just plug and play ready to go, but somebody who has experience with it or uh, is patient with it, I'm sure we'll be able to get that thing working and then share that with the other members. Uh, this is some of the uh, paper stock we have on hand for that large format printer I mentioned. And then over here, we have our big boss laser. So Brandon's got a job set up. Uh, this is a 150 watt CO2 laser. We also have the rotary device for it. So you can uh, put in your mugs, tumblers, rolling pins, and engrave your graphics onto it. Uh, but the nice thing about this big boss laser is doing big projects like Ben's Iron Giant uh, poster here. Yeah, oh, that's cool. You've got to get this lit up. Uh, you can cut different types of plastics uh, acrylic, uh, PETG. Uh, you can also do really weird things to plywood, like making it flexible, a living hinge of sorts. And uh, just in case the, the big 150 watt laser is a little intimidating to get into, we also have a little guy. It's our 30 watt Zing laser. This thing's a workhorse, but for smaller projects, it's 16 inches by 12 inch capacity. 
uh, this thing uh, is a great kind of way to get into laser cutting, laser engraving uh, as, a, as a stepping stone. I'll also mention uh, the capacity on that big boss laser is 55 inches wide by 36 inches deep. But that's not all. We have an entire wood shop back here. See what's going on. So where were we? Oh, we were in the wood shop where we have an incredible collection of tools that are made for quick setup and easy use. This is our fancy drill press here. You just put the fence anywhere you need it for repeatable cuts. Really fun drill press to use. Uh, we have this incredible lathe here donated by Cracked Pot Bowls. This is, uh, has a variable speed drive on it so you can uh, turn that wood at just the right speed that you're looking for. Uh, we have some kind of grab and use bench top tools like the router table. You would just grab it from the shelf back there, pull it out, uh, clamp it down to one of these benches or, you know, maybe the same situation with our little toaster planer here. We have a lot of really fun members here uh, that like to use things like our bandsaw, our Powermatic bandsaw. But then there's a, a kind of more technical stuff in this room. We have our CNC room where we have a four foot by eight foot capacity, big CNC machine. So if you wanna make a guitar to jam out, you're gonna have your work cut out for you like Trevor did, uh, but you can do that on this machine, this uh, nice logo work made by Ben. We have a lot of van builders. People like to come here and configure their vans just the way they want them. This was kind of a paneling test idea. Uh, this is a little miniature CNC, so it's the same technology and you can design with the same software you would use for the big one. Uh, for this machine, but this is kind of uh, for small little projects. We also have this uh, CNC bridge mill uh, combo, a bridge port, I believe they call it, and it's got the lathe attachment as well as kind of on the small side work area for your metal, and this is CNC controlled as well. Um, back out here to the wood shop where we have the chop saw ready to go at all times. And over here, we have our eight inch joiner, which is on the short list for an upgrade to a helical head. Uh, we have a nice little sanding station here. We've got the downdraft table and our sanders here ready to go. And we have this new Powermatic table saw uh, set up. And it's a work in progress. As you can see, Steve is here working, but uh, we're gotta get the sliding end feed table configured. But one of the things we can do with a shared shop is make dust collection, my favorite topic, uh, really fun and interactive. So to turn it on, you just slide this over. You got your saw, got the cleanup hose. So right there, you're about to make your cut. Turn on this, turn it on right there. What's that? The dust collection, like everything, is a work in progress. Uh, we, uh, we have not installed the four inch line. We're getting a four inch line that's gonna help a lot. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're gonna cover this up. That would yeah. be huge. So like the wood shop, like the table saw, you know, and I said earlier, everything good that happens here is because a volunteer saw the potential. A volunteer said, you know, this has potential. I can make this space more usable. And, and that's where, uh, you know, empowering our volunteers, our leaders to develop a space like the metal shop. Uh, which is very much a work in progress, but we have the, the basics. The seed is planted in the ground. We have the big evolution chop saw. We have a MIG welder. We have the plasma cutter. There's a drill press. There's a bandsaw. We have a lot of air tools. Uh, and this whole area is kind of under development, including a giant powder coating oven that should be up and running here soon. But check back because uh, this is very much a work in progress. We wanted to get this tour out there as soon as possible so you know what you're missing out on because you need to be here. Uh, this is a mill lathe combo that's on loan from one of our members. Uh, we have a sandblasting cabinet over here and if you, you don't want to peer through, it's a bit of a mess. So that's pretty much the, the shop areas but there's really important things on the way out. I'm gonna show you, come on. So after you've finished making your incredible products and ideas, bringing them to life. We have this photo booth ready to go. So, you know, one of the things I hear members talk about all the time is I made this, I gave it to the customer, I gave it to my friend, and I never got photos of it. There is no excuse here. We have this photo booth plugged in, ready to go at any time. Uh, we also have a showcase of our makers and residents here. Uh, so we have a member building a 
a portable swamp cooler, all this great stuff, candles and uh, wire forming by Esquire. Uh, this was made right here on our Zing laser. So all of these products here were made here. And let's make this collection bigger and get you involved in the space. Uh, if you have any questions, please use the contact form. It's just contact at pikespeakmakerspace.org or fill out the Google form. We'll get the message and we'll get right back to you and answer your questions about new member orientation or about the family membership. Uh, we also have a student membership level. All of that information is on the website. But if you have any follow-up questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Uh, but the nice thing about this Big Boss laser is doing bin, big projects like Ben's uh, Iron Man, Iron Giant, darn it. <laughs> 